different meditations, and, yeah, yoga and stuff like that. Even if I just skip ahead to the main points, you know, I still try oh, to get a book. To, but know, but some people have never to. never touched those kind of books, right? Um, and that, since you brought me there, we need to talk about mm-hmm. as artists mm-hmm. and as uh, spiritual people, mm-hmm. we need to explore more than one book, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, one. More than one book from one particular epic. Because there's a lot of stuff that has happened in the past that we don't understand that relates to our life today. And um, if we don't have the boldness and, and step outside of the organized structure that people have given us, we're limited. And you don't want to be limited if you're an artist. Because if you're limited, you're, you're stilted. And people can see, yeah, like Matomo used to do that. Don't bring it in here. Don't do it. And um, no, no, no. Right, and it's reflective in the art. Right. You see, it's reflective in, our, in your art. And sometimes yeah. it takes some of us years and years to develop our art because of our limited belief system. I don't know how we get got there, but that's good stuff. Right. No, but I wanted to talk about that too during this interview because, like, you find like art comes from inspiration for me. Like, if I could find, for me to create art, I had to first have inspiration. Right. So, sometimes it comes to me. Sometimes I have to look for it. So, like, to anybody watching this, I y'all probably could agree or you probably like, well, That's yeah, inspiration you know, back there. Yeah, you know, that's definitely <laughs> has some inspiration to it. You know, uh, inspired us to sit here to do this interview right here. But, uh, absolutely. But, um... But, uh, yeah, well, that's what's up. Uh-huh. Um, you got to, yeah. you got to change up. You got, you got to read something else.